Hello, my name is Don Bauer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an HDR image. But in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to do it with a single raw file. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll open up Lightroom and go to the photo which I want to turn into an HDR image. And I'm going to use this church image, which is quite cool. There's also quite a lot of highlight details and lots of shadow details, which could be quite interesting. So what I need to do is get the image so it's back to its kind of normal state. As the computer regularly puts a bit of its own editing in before I can do anything. So get it back to normal. And just save it straight away. So this one, I'll save it just onto my desktop. Desktop at the top. And I'll want to save it as a TIFF. TIFF means it holds as much information as possible and at 16 bits. So it's going to be a pretty huge file on my computer. And then I go to export. That's it. Now to make this a pseudo HDR using this single file, I then just manipulate that one image. So I make it twice as bright, two stops brighter. Go to export, do the same as the last one. And again, this time, make it two times darker, two stops darker. Take out some of the fill light, and that will be the dark version image for the HDR. Okay, so once I've done all that, come back out of the screen. And here you can see the three images, so it's very dark to bright. Open up Photomatix. Choose the three images that I want, and then select them all, and take out align images, because they're the same image. And there's the image. Click on tone mapping, and now we've got this pretty cool looking photo, where you can see all the details right up in the roof, and yet still get all the colours and brightness from around. Now changing with the light smoothing, you can see certainly around the circular window at the top there's some changes that happen there. Once you're happy with it, save. So here's the view of the old one, the natural, and then the HDR. Before, after. See there's a lot more interest to the image. And it's not just a case of saturation and colour enhancement. Here's an example of doing it just through Photoshop, or Lightroom, as it were. Just trying to make it look like an HDR image by increasing the fill light, by increasing the darks, by increasing the contrast and the vibrance, taking out the blueness from that window by desaturating the blue and the aqua colours. Maybe calm the blacks down a little bit. Bit more saturation. Export. Save it as a JPEG. Now here we'll th see the three different images. So that's the natural, that's the HDR, and then that's the Lightroom attempt at HDR. And as you see, the pseudo HDR, which was done with one raw file, I think has come out a lot better than just really playing around with the levels and the curves in Lightroom. Lightroom, HDR, see it's much better around the window. There it's really bright and the ceiling's all very dark in the Lightroom version. So, there you go. That's a little example of what you can do with one raw file making it into an HDR. Hope that helps. Cheers.